So this is another view of our setup. Again, this is our bunk line feeders that we built ourselves. We've got some wind boards there to help snow from, or keep snow from blowing in. I will be getting some measurements for the people that have been asking what our spacing is. Um, I do believe that we went with seven inches, seven or eight inches for the head spacing. And that seems to be really good for our self down and doors at use and also is really good for keeping lambs in. The majority of our setup has been built completely from the ground up. It's our own design. We built it. We've done some tweaking on it to make sure that we got exactly what we want. Over here is our one shed. We do have some metal feeders along here. Please ignore some of our mess. <laughs> So this is one of our sorting stations actually. Um, we have panels that can move around very easily. And so when we're wanting to do a sort, we have things set up like this. We would run a bunch of our sheep into this area over here and then just do catch and buy. It's another one of our bunk line feeders. We have gates that run across the back of the shed so that we can crawl as many as we need in here to make catching easy. Something that works really, really well for us is when we do run yos in here, um, this is our winter pen and our lambing area. So. If we don't already have the yos inside that are very close to lambing or in labor, we just run them from our main area over here into this catch area, use our shed to sort what we need, and then we can just run them from the shed over here straight across to our lean-to and into the lambing barn. We do have a colt that's got an injury in with our sheep and they love him and he loves them. On the far side over behind him where you can sort of see the llama is our ram pen. We have our water bowl system and this is just kind of another back view of our winter pen. <laughs> 